Hi everyone, welcome back to Keto with Lee. Today's recipe is gonna be an easy salad. Spinach salad with gorgonzola cheese and bacon twists. Yay! Sorry, I'm excited about this salad, as you can tell. It's easy for those week nights or weekdays, you know, the, the work week or the busy mom week or dad week. So it'll be an easy recipe to whip up in a hurry. Don't forget to subscribe for weekly recipes and visit my website at www.ketowithlee.us for my written recipes as well as the macros for that dish. Now without further ado, let's get right into this recipe. We made the bacon, now we're gonna move on and make our salad dressing. So I'm gonna use my handy dandy pool thingy. And to it, I am going to add red wine vinegar. It is organic and with the mother. Okay. To that, quiet down puppy. Don't eat all the bacon, that's for the salad. You gotta that's what did back she was eating, he, he, he bit it, but and here we have our garlic. They're eating all my bacon. That's good. Yeah, I know it's good. All right, here we have olive oil. You can also use the coconut oil if you prefer, but if you're gonna do that for the salad dressing, you're gonna try to use the liquid form of the coconut oil. That way, if you refrigerate it, you it doesn't solidify, okay? Does that make sense? In here, I have Swerve. You can use your favorite sugar substitute. Uh, we prefer Swerve or Stevia at times. Swerve has a better, it's better. It, it, to me, it just doesn't have an aftertaste. And here we have our mayo. I tend to use the Hellman's mayo that has the olive oil. Um, yeah, made with olive oil. Now, I've seen at Costco where they have avocado mayo, they have coconut mayo. I just haven't tried them, guys. If you have, leave a comment below and let me know what you think about them. Maybe I'll give them a try. I'm just afraid to buy something and then waste money you know what I mean so I rather go with reviews on it so, and I haven't looked into it to be honest all right so here we have it now the idea is to blend this until it is smooth and then we're gonna set it aside and make our salad so I'm gonna go ahead and blend this and I will show you what it looks like guys here is our dressing doesn't that look so so creamy look at that amazing so now we're gonna put it in our airtight container pour it into our airtight container. I love to use these glass mason jars. Ah, making a mess. Mm, it smells really good. OK, 
can't wait to try this on the spinach. This is gonna be a great combination with the type of salad we have because it's gonna have the gorgonzola, some onions, some hard boiled egg. So it's gonna be fabulous. Look at that. Bam. Yes, yes, man. All right. And now we're boiling our eggs. Now I wanted to give you some advice. When boiling eggs, to get the perfect hard boiled egg, what I've learned is that you need to broil as soon as you put it on, I put it on a high setting for heat. I put my eggs to cover. I mean, put my eggs in a pot and water to cover. Uh -huh. And the timer, I put it on right away. I put it at 19 minutes. And what I like to do is put a spoon over my pot so that the water doesn't boil over. If you don't believe me, try it. When you boil something, like hard boiled eggs, the water tends to, you know, foam up and boil over. Well, this spoon, for some reason, as soon as it hits the spoon, the boiling water, it simmers down, it lowers, and it won't make a mess on your stove top. So I just wanted to share that with you really quick. And this is for our salad. Um, once these are done and cooled, we'll move on to the spinach salad. So now we are going to prepare the spinach salad. We have our spinach. I like uh, the pre-washed brand from my store, my local store. Here's some bacon. I doubled the recipe, so I'm just doing half of everything I have here. This is gargonzola, not to be confused with blue cheese. Let's do that. And onions. I chose the red onions. Um, we love them here in this household. If you've seen my recipes, you'll see that I use them fairly often. And I don't put a lot. You can omit them if you prefer. You can add something else if you prefer. But this is the recipe I'm giving you. So to this, I'm gonna go ahead and add that fabulous dressing we have just created, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm gonna just pour some on there. And again, I made a double batch of the dressing. And let's see what we get. this real quick. I'm making a salad, honey. Mm -hmm. Oh, this smells really good, guys. Yes. Alright, now I'm going to get the eggs and I'll be right back. We have a hard-boiled egg. Now remember I told you it would be perfect, right? So let's take a look. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? So you sit on the edge of the seat. What? You see that? Awesome, right? So I'm just gonna do this. Put it in our salad. Finish tossing it. And I will plate this and show you what it looks like. Please smash that like button, subscribe for weekly recipes. Visit my website for the macros and written recipes for any of my recipes. If you try it, comment below. Let others know what you think about it. Thanks for joining us. See you on next Tasty Tuesday.